Bo Luoyang is a Chinese actor, bodybuilder, and a martial arts master. Everyone who loves action movies of the 90s knows this massive guy really well. First of all, we remember him from two very popular movies, Bloodsport and Double Jeopardy. In both films, he played a charismatic, reckless fighter villain, who would not stop at anything to defeat his opponents. In both the first and the second film, his opponent was none other than Jean-Claude Van Damme. The trademark features of the Boluyang characters is a laid-back ominous face and fighting without looking at his opponent. It really looked very stylish and brutal. And of course, when talking about Boluyang, we should mention his incredibly ripped packs. It seems that thousands and millions of guys rushed to the gyms looking at the impressive physique of the Chinese athlete. Yours truly included, though my fitness journey proved to be quite a fruitless endeavor. If you've ever wondered what the actor is up to now, today we'll tell you just that. So sit back, relax and enjoy. The actor was born on the 3rd of July 1946 in Guangzhou. As a child he was engaged in Kung Fu, as well as training at the gym where he lifted weights. At the age of 20, Bo Luoyang realized that he couldn't achieve anything in China. It was too isolated a country. So he decided to leave it and move to Hong Kong. Now that was quite a leap of faith that fortunately more than paid off. There he managed to open a bodybuilding school and train young athletes. At the same time, Bo Luoyang did not forget about his own body shape and trained constantly. Soon he won the Mr. Hong Kong title and kept it for almost 10 years. The Shaw Brothers Studio, which was the largest in Hong Kong at that time, became interested in the athlete and offered him roles that matched his image. Luck, maybe, but primarily hard work. In 1970, he made his film debut in The Wandering Swordsman. He starred in 15 movies over three years. More often, he got the role of negative characters. One day, at the audition for a commercial, Bolo met Bruce Lee. They quickly became friends. It was Bruce who invited Yang to star in The Exit of the Dragon, where he got the role of a bodyguard. There was no duel between their characters. It was planned to take place in the next movie, Game of Death. But the plans were never destined to come true. Bruce Lee suddenly died. This was a huge personal tragedy for Bolo Yang. However, the actor became world famous for his role in the American movie Bloodsport. There he played a tough underground kumite fighter Chong Li, who could beat his opponent to death. Audiences loved the film, but critics did not appreciate it. Bolo Yang was credited as the main villain. Then followed the film's double impact and the claw of the tiger. Yeah, bad guys were kind of his thing. Nevertheless, the actor has also played positive characters in several films, such as in TC2000 and Shoot Fighter. He's played 106 roles in movies and TV series in total. The actor most recently appeared in the 2016 film Diamond Cartel. Bolo also appeared in an episode of Jean-Claude Van Damme Behind Closed Doors, a documentary about the American star. Cinema is my job, my life. I'm fine with playing scumbags. I've never been frustrated with being beaten or killed off from time to time. After all, these roles have brought me world fame, he once said. These are wise words indeed. As for his personal life, the actor is married and has three children, sons David and Danny and daughter Deborah. David, like his father, has been involved in martial arts since childhood. He also won the world championship in bodybuilding. By the way, we made a video on him once before. If you're interested, go check it out. Yang now runs the sports commercial organization in Hong Kong and also the Taipei branch of the International Bodybuilding Association. He continues to train students. The actor lives in California. Also, the actor regularly makes meetings with fans and autograph sessions. By the way, such a meeting was held recently, where we could see that the actor lost weight and looked a little older. But we shouldn't be surprised, really, because you may find it hard to believe, but Bolo Yang is 76 years old. This actress has no equal among female fighters. She is proficient in such types of martial arts as Tan Su Do, Karate, Kung Fu, Taekwondo, and she also learned to use edged weapons. True fans of martial arts already know who I'm talking about. All this is about the actress Cynthia Rothrock. In the 80s and 90s she was very popular, along with such actors as Jackie Chan, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Steven Seagal, Jean-Claude Van Damme. In the most challenging scenes, the actress could work without a stuntman. 
Cynthia Rothrock was born on the 8th of March 1957 in Wilmington, Delaware, then moved with her parents to Pennsylvania, where she spent her entire childhood. She got her passion for martial arts from her parents' best friend, who had an orange belt in Tansu Do. Fascinated by the graceful but powerful ancient art, 13-year-old Cynthia joined his private martial arts school. When looking at her 160 cm height, people did not believe in her abilities, because she was too small for such a difficult activity. All these critics had no idea how wrong they were, but at the time it did hurt her self-esteem very much. She even tried to give up her hobby, but her coach persuaded her to stay and continue training. Sounds a bit like a sport drama already, doesn't it? Well, hard work and the desire to succeed helped Cynthia reach remarkable levels. She became one of the rare people to win a karate competition without having a black belt. Between 1981 and 1985, Cynthia set the record for the number of awards and trophies among women, which has not been broken to this day. If you ask me, this achievement is at least on par with her movie legacy. Cynthia Rothrock first appears on screens in the early 80s. She starred in a commercial for Kentucky Fried Chicken, an interesting place to start. And in 1983, Cynthia was noticed by representatives of the Hong Kong film company Golden Harvest, who offered her the chance to become a movie actress. In 1985, she first appeared on the screens in the action comedy film Yes, Madam. Rothrock liked to shoot, and the Asian film industry fell in love with her too. So the aspiring actress has remained in Hong Kong for several years and starred in several films. In the credits, she was listed under the name Fu Lok Law. You can't understate how great an opportunity it was for a young martial arts star. During this time, she starred with film legends such as Samo Hung, Andy Lau, Bolo Yang and Yun Biao. One day, Rothrock was offered the role of Jackie Chan's rival in the movie Armor of God. Shooting wasn't held because the actor was injured, so the American woman switched to another project, writing wrongs above the law. Which is a pity, I would really love to see their fight with Jackie Chan. She was popular mainly in the East, but the Western world also treated her with great respect. William Grotz, editor of Black Belt magazine, gave the American woman the following characteristic. She has a better ponytail than Seagal, better breasts than Schwarzenegger. Her gaze outshines that of Van Damme and Norris. Plus, unlike Stallone and Willis, she defeats villains by walking confidently in high heels. A bit sexist, maybe not a bit, but true. In total, she's played 49 roles in films and TV series. As for the personal life of the actress, the busy schedule of shooting did not prevent Cynthia Rothrock to have a family and children. She married a lawyer and in 1999 gave birth to his daughter, Skylar Sophia Rothrock. However, the marriage did not last long. In the end, they divorced. Cynthia continues to raise her daughter on her own. Skylar followed in her mother's footsteps and already at the age of 10 became interested in training. Nowadays, Cynthia rarely shoots in movies. She opened several branches of her sports school, works as a commentator at martial arts tournaments and conducts seminars on Kung Fu, pretty much living her dream life, we are assuming. In one interview, she said, You need to set goals and never give up. If there's something you can't do, don't get upset. If you keep practicing, you will get better and better. Be positive in your learning. Don't take failure personally. Wise words indeed. She last appeared on screens in 2016 in the movie Showdown in Manila. This year, however, Rothrock will appear on screens again in Gunfight at Rio Bravo. I have a feeling that that will be epic. The actress travels a lot and regularly posts photos of her trips to Jordan, Morocco, Israel and other countries. And she also regularly posts pictures of herself in a swimsuit. And being 65 years old, she looks really great. We all know this guy. Jet Li is one of the most famous Chinese actors of our time. The master of martial arts has made a dizzying career not only in his homeland, but also in Hollywood. Jet Li has played in many popular movies, as well as achieved great success in sports. In his homeland, Lee got famous at an early age, becoming quite literally a national treasure. See, Chinese people love their sports prodigies. And that's exactly what Jet Li was. In the 1970s, he won a huge number of Chinese Wushu championships, becoming one of the country's most famous athletes. He continued to progress, winning prizes in various competitions. 
and in 1974 he became a member of the national team, as part of which he went to the US to represent his country. That's no mean feat. But many people know the actor thanks to the movie characters he played from the age of 18. For that we have to thank one man. After noticing a boy who had a strong body and excellent wushu skills, director Zhang Xinyang invited Lee to try his hand as an actor. It was a movie about a young man who is a martial arts master. The debut film for Yan Jie, who took his stage name Jet Li, was Shaolin Temple, a film about an orphan boy raised in a monastery by Shaolin monks. The film was released in 1982 and achieved a resounding success. Therefore, directors immediately began to shoot a sequel. So yes, yeah, sequels are not exclusively the plague of our time. In the late 80s, Jet was invited to star in Hollywood, where he was given the role of a bad guy, something the actor had not previously had to face. Nevertheless, he did an excellent job playing Wa Sing Ku in the blockbuster Lethal Weapon 4. He's played 48 roles in movies and TV series in total. The actor is also the producer of 13 films. In addition to royalties for his roles, Jet has earned a lot of money using his businessman skills. At different times, he was engaged in selling cosmetics for girls, owned several restaurants under the name Fat Lee Burger, and even managed to launch a new brand of vodka Pew Wanderly in China. I will not tire of repeating it, a talented man is talented in everything. Jet Li's capital is estimated at about $250 million. Since the late 1880s, he moved to the US and has already gained worldwide popularity. Action scenes with his participation have always been notable for perfectly staged melee attacks. Especially the film Kiss of the Dragon of 2001 stands out in this sense. Now some details about the personal life of the actor. In 1987, the actor got married for the first time. His fiancée was Huang Kuyang, who, like him, was a member of the national wushu team of China. Huang was also Jet's partner in his debut film Shaolin Temple. The couple had two daughters, but they were together for only three years. In 1999, the actor married again. This time, the chosen one was the actress from Hong Kong, Nina Li Chi. They had a daughter Jane and a son Zhu. As any popular person, Jet Li was no stranger to newspaper gossip. Here's one such story. In 2008, according to Singapore newspapers, the actor became a citizen of Singapore and bought a property in the capital worth $14 million. But neither representatives of the actor nor the immigration authorities have commented on the news. The last films in which the actor starred were the movies Unstoppable and the drama Ocean of Heaven. The actor looked just great in these movies, not much different from himself of the 1990s. In 2020, the actor appeared in the movie Mulan. In 2018, some pictures of Jet looking completely different appeared on the net. One of Lee's fans published a joint photo with him taken in Tibet. In the photo, the actor looked aged and unhealthy. Fans were seriously worried, and the media, as they always do, broke the news, exaggerating the real situation. Later, it turned out that all the worries were unfounded. It was just a bad photo. Official representatives of Jet Li rushed to say that in fact all is well. In an interview with reporters, they said that Li at the moment doesn't have any serious health problems. However, the actor's manager confirmed that Jet Li suffers from such a serious disease as hypothyroidism. It is a malfunction of the thyroid gland. The hormones are produced in greater quantities than necessary. But this disease is not life-threatening. All in all, we sure hope Jet is well and stays that way for a very long time. Now Jet Li is engaged in charity work and leads a healthy lifestyle of a well-to-do pensioner. At the moment, he's 59 years old. Do you remember this guy from the Jackie Chan movies? Sam Mo Hoon is a well-known hero of many Chinese action movies. His films are always full of spectacular action scenes and a good portion of sparkling humor. Being a director, Hoon made dozens of movies, the most famous of which are Project A, Wheels on Meals and Mr. Nice Guy. The actor's real name is Hung Kam Bo, and he is one of the most influential people in Hong Kong cinema. The famous actor, director, producer, screenwriter, stuntman, and unrivaled fight scene director started his way to the top from the very bottom. In 1960, when the boy was 8 years old, his grandmother sent him to study at the Peking School of Opera. 
They he learned Kung Fu, Acrobatics, Pantomime, Singing, Acting, and many other things essential for an artist. Moreover, there he also meets Jackie Chan, Yun Pyu, and other talented students who later became the Lucky Seven. Yeah, that was when everything started. Despite his considerable size, Summer was one of the school's most talented students. His body composition also made him the most daring. As Jackie Chan wrote in his book, Summer was older and stronger, so Jackie and other green guys got a lot of abuse from him. In time, however, childhood resentments were forgotten, and Sam Hung and Jackie Chan became friends. Lucky for all of us, I might add. His first experience in the cinema took place when Sam was still a child. The boy's acting debut was in 1961 film Education of Love. When the boy was 14 years old, his teacher Yuan, who had strong ties in the world of Hong Kong film industry, began to involve him to help on the set, performing stunts in the films. The future star found it fascinating to work in the movies. No wonder, really, it seems like a job any teenager would dream about. He enjoyed working in front of the cameras and shared the money he earned with his younger schoolmates. And so, in 1971, at the age of 19, he signs a contract with Golden Harvest, a Hong Kong film company. There he becomes a supplier of stuntmen and employs Jackie Chan. Once again, can't thank him enough for that. In 1973, he collaborates with Bruce Lee. He even had a small cameo in Enter the Dragon, but was not listed in the credits. In 1983, three graduates of Peking School of Opera, Jackie Chan, Samo Hung, and Hu Yun Biao, joined forces to produce a number of successful films. The list includes, but is not limited to, Project A, Winners and Sinners, Wheels on Meals, My Lucky Stars, and Heart of the Dragon. At the moment, the famous actor has more than 170 different projects in his portfolio. At 168 centimeters tall, Sama weighs about 100 kilograms, but it never stopped him from being a great athlete. In 1998, the actor moved to the US, where he starred in the Martial Law TV series. Unexpectedly, the project received recognition, making Hoon the only Asian actor who managed to occupy American primetime. If that's not an achievement, I don't know what is. Some personal details about the actor. He was married to his girlfriend Cho An Ok, with whom they have four children. Later he married a Chinese actress Joyce Gedanzi. She is his wife to this very day. In 2009 the actor had heart surgery. This was caused by excess body mass as well as a busy work schedule. The actor still works, but has optimized his schedule so as to maintain normal health. It's hard to believe, but Hung is already 70 years old and still continues to play in Asian cinema, which unfortunately is not so well known outside of China. I remember when I was a kid in the early 90s, we used to watch a TV series, Thunder in Paradise, if you remember it. It was about a super submarine and two commandos. The lead role was played by the actor and wrestler Hulk Hogan. And today on our channel, we want to tell you about what happened to Super Athlete and how he's doing now. So, as usual, sit back, relax and enjoy. Terry Jean Belair, that's the actor's real name, was born in 1953 in Georgia. It's hard to believe, but Hulk has a degree in economics and even worked for several years in a bank. Don't judge the book by its cover, my friends. Both in school and at university, the actor was the biggest and the strongest. In his spare time, he really liked to go to the gym and dreamed of becoming like Billy Graham. Besides this, Hogan was also fond of music. He learned to play the guitar and in his student years, together with friends, they organized a band. Knowing Hulk's ability to steal the show, I'd really love to see them in action. One day, performing at a bar, he was noticed by Jack Briscoe, a famous wrestler, who was fascinated by Hogan's physique. He talked him into starting a professional wrestling career and introduced him to his coach. If it wasn't for that meeting, maybe Terry Jean Belair would have stayed a banker to this day, and we would never have known the name Hulk Hogan. But as you may have noticed, happy coincidences like this one are something of a recurring theme on our channel. Finally, in 1977, he signed a contract with the World Wrestling Federation and officially began his wrestling career. Hogan is still considered one of the most successful wrestlers in the world. During his career, he won every single title and has been a champion for a considerable period of time. His height was 204 centimeters and his weight was 133 kilograms. 
I read an article claiming that he became 7.5 cm shorter when he retired. He suffered from back pain and as a result had to undergo many operations on his spine. He allegedly became shorter as a result, I don't know if it's true or not. But there's the article like that. Anyway, the fact that he had 25 operations in 10 years is absolutely true. And frankly quite insane. Knowing that, it's doubly impressive that he still manages to maintain a great physique. Many Hollywood directors invited him to star in their movies because of his impressive appearance. Hulk didn't accept offers for a long time, but when he was invited to shoot in Rocky 3, he immediately accepted the offer. Rocky 3 was his debut. Hogan liked the process so much that he continued to shoot. Which is no wonder, really. I mean, wrestling and acting have a lot in common. In total, the actor starred in 35 films and TV series. In addition, in five projects he is listed as a producer, such as Thunder in Paradise, Assault on Devil's Island and No Holds Barred. Over the years, the actor never changed his image. White long moustache, white long hair and a bandana. As for the moustache and hair, Hulk always dyed it in dazzling white. In one interview he said, Always take care of your moustache. And it always, always, always must be clean. After all, the first person who will be sniffing it is yourself. Not sure who needs to be told that, but still true, I guess. As for his personal life, Hulk married Linda Claridge in 1983. They had a son and a daughter. The son, by the way, doesn't wear a moustache like his father. What a disgrace. Okay, sorry, I'm kidding. All seemed fine, but after 24 years of marriage, the couple broke up. In 2010, the actor married Jennifer McDaniel. However, almost a year ago, for some reason, they also divorced. Now Hulk is retired. He hasn't acted in movies for a long time. The last time he appeared in the 2013 TV series The Goldbergs. It's a pity we're unlikely to ever see him on screen again. But if you ask me, he's already cemented his legacy in Hollywood. On the 24th of July 2015, it became known that the actor was expelled from wrestling. The organizers of the fights have terminated all contracts with him. The exact reason for this decision is unknown. According to the unofficial version, Hogan was expelled from the wrestling organization because he made racist remarks about his opponent. But that's just a rumor. The actor enjoys his life. He frequently meets with his fans, runs his own business. He has his own Hogan's Beach Fan merchandise store and Hogan's Bar. His business also produces energy drinks and frozen cheeseburgers. Hulk still spends his time in the gym twice a week, and you wouldn't believe it, he writes books. Not sure about you, but I'm at the very least curious as to what's going to come out of it. Hogan's fortune is estimated at $25 million. Today he's 69 years old. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Good luck, everyone!